Five minutes gone, and it's now time to go racing. Here's who will be racing in heat. 2A, presented by Seafair by Graham Trucking. In the nine, in Jones Racing, is Andrew Tate. In the 11, Reliable Diamond Tool presents J&D's Tom Thompson. And in that over bright red, Graham Trucking of the number 12, J. Michael Kelly. And in that flashy Alberto Boat 1918, Cal Phipps. Seafair thinks Albert Lee Appliance, proud sponsor of the Albert Lee Appliance Seafair Cup. To start, Heat 2A is going to happen in just a few minutes. Seafair reminds you that for your safety and the safety around you, everyone must be out of the water from the hydros during the Ted Jones race course. Now, it is time to get on the water and enjoy the world's fastest race boats. Heat 2A presented by Seafair and Graham Trucking, Brad Luce. Thank you very much, Kay Brewer. We are three minutes and 50 seconds to the start of our Heat 2A. Now coming up on 345, we have four boats slated to go in this heat. Kay just ran them down. The 9, the 11, the 12, the 19, 18. Andrew Tate, Tom Thompson, J. Michael Kelly, and Cal Phipps. If you have never seen a heat of unlimited hydroplane racing, we will do our best to tell you what is going on. And what is going on right now is what we call the milling period, sometimes referred to as the race before the race. And a whole lot can happen during this particular period as we see Tom Thompson in the brightly colored chartreuse and carnival orange U11 and Andrew Tate both cutting across the race course. They're going to jump over to the back stretch. That is a legal maneuver, Kay. They can jump from the front to the back on the front straightaway. They can come from the back stretch to the front stretch up at the top end of the race course. And J. Michael Kelly opts to go all the way down to turn number one, and he goes way, way wide. But you're going to see those white outside course markers. He must keep those course markers on his right side, and he, he got pretty close to all of them. But each one of these drivers heads out onto the course with one plan, and they want to stick to that plan but if something happens and another driver comes in onto their lane that they wanted to choose, they have to go to plan B. Well, yesterday we had J. Michael Kelly paired up against Andrew Tate, and we saw it coming about 15 seconds before it happened, but J. Michael Kelly made a whale of a move to steal the inside away from Andrew, and there's a little bit of a cat and mouse game going on right now between J. Michael Kelly at the top end of the race course and Andrew Tate who wanted to make sure he gave his boat a squirt down here in the lower end of the race course. So Cal Phipps was unable to cut the course and get in front of him. Instead, Cal cut the course and found himself behind Andrew Tate. Now coming in inside, just inside, two minutes of the start, and J. Michael Kelly was going to make the corner, and then he realized, I think, where they were on the clock, and he moved all the way out to the outside of the race course. J. Michael Kelly. Go wide. Now he just cut into lane one, it looks like rough off time. He's going back and forth from an inside lane to an outside lane. Now here he comes to an outside lane. Oh, I have never seen this happen. Now he's going to have to hurry a little bit and get back, see if he doesn't go to the inside. I mentioned a lot could happen. I have never seen that one done before, and he's just late, and he's still doing it because he's got a minute. For instance, more, but he can't do that. So now Kelly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mark one minute. So J. Michael Kelly, I have never seen that particular maneuver, and boy, are we. Nine's gonna be coming up trying to find a place to get. He got boxed out. Got the twelve right next to you. Lane number one. Where is Tate gonna stick the nine? He is the fourth boat going up the backstretch right now. Does he have a lane or is he gonna have to move outside of Tom Thompson? Kay Brewer, we are coming up on 30 seconds. This is an incredibly strange score up. This was definitely something I have never seen before, but as we're lining up going into turn number two, this is something we see all the time. J. Michael Kelly has got lane number one right on his outside hip is going to be Cal Phipps. Bringing up the rear is going to be Andrew Tate. He is going to come from a slingshot move, I can guarantee it. If he can get a lane. 
Uh, four boats back. Let's go. Nine, nine's pulling you on the outside. Leave Mike a lane. Side is going to be that young gun of Andrew Tate in the Jones Racing. Brad Luce, check them coming out all side by side into turn number two. Boy, coming out of the lower corner down here it was Andrew Tate in lane number three. The start was clean. They're going to fan out here. One, two, three. You got to get really close. Oh, boy. Phipps held Kelly in tight. Meanwhile, Tate kept the RPM up. He's going to come down. He is in first place, but he's still running in lane three. Do not count out Mr. Thompson on the outside. Tate flying the nine as he gets down here to the lower corner, but he's still got Kelly on the inside, Kate. J. Michael Kelly must be up in the top two positions to make it into the final. That is why. Full rooster tail on him. Full rooster tail on him. Full rooster tail. On the back stretch, giving that log move quite a run. But all of a sudden, we've got Cal Phipps way outside. But we got to run for second and third. On the outside is going to be Tom Thompson. He is sticking his nose out with J. Michael Kelly. They are Ooh. going for points and they are getting close. Cal Phipps really lifted the Alberto back in fourth place in the rough water. The race here is going to be for second place. Remember, we said Kelly had to get points. He really needs the second place points. And believe me, Tom Thompson knows it. Two up, two down, one to go. We are on lap number three. Right now, the race is for second place. And it is Tom Thompson on the outside trying to run down Kelly. But Kelly's got him by about a full length as they get to the entrance pit of the corner, K. And Tom Thompson's going to go way wide because he's trying to avoid the rough water that your leader, Andrew Tate, is bringing. J. Michael Kelly is taking advantage of it with the inside lane. He is going to walk away from Tom Thompson, but don't watch. Don't look. Wait too long. Here comes Tom Thompson. He's going through the rooster tail. J. Michael Kelly, they have a half a lap to go. They're bringing him down. Brad Luce, I see the checkered flag. Checkered flag is waiting. Top end of the race course. Andrew Tate has led this thing from the exit pin of turn one on lap one. Tate's going to come down. He will look to his right. He will see the checkered flag. Now J. Michael Kelly with a gorgeous corner at the top end. He's going to come down into Graham Trucking, and it's going to be J. Michael Kelly in second place. Tom Thompson in third place in some outstanding racing by Tom Thompson in the 11. Here comes Cal Phipps in the 1918. Oh, okay, Brewer, that was a good one. That was a very interesting start. I Like you said, we've never seen a start like that, but J. Michael Kelly fought his way through, but your leader is going down the back stretch and giving our lock boom quite the little rundown but here comes Cal Phipps immediately bringing it back in they did have some problems with the boat earlier so I have a feeling he's bringing it back in he wants to be the first one to be put back onto the trailer so they can make adjustments and get ready for the next heat 